Lots of people have seen the spectacular West End musical Aladdin. It was incredible. I was like smiling like a child throughout the whole thing. <laughs> but the question that usually comes up is, how does the magic carpet work? But I'm a scientist and I want to investigate the ways that they might do it. Now, I've got two main ideas in my head. One is magnetic levitation and the other is air pressure. Magnets, like from either side maybe. We know how magnets work. There's attraction and there's repulsion. But you can use a magnet to levitate something. I've got a metal nut here attached to a piece of string below. Gravity is pulling it down, but the magnet is pulling it up. I can even pass a piece of paper between them. And the nut stays in place. Now Disney could use something like this, but I think it's quite complicated. To lift two people, you'd need huge magnets. And the carpet also flies across the stage. I don't think this is how they do it. Hoverboard. Hoverboard, yeah. yeah. I've got one here. A large fan pumps air below the craft, and then the craft glides seamlessly across the stage. But the carpet doesn't just travel across the stage, it travels up, down and all over the place. You can hear that fan. If you had a hovercraft, all the actors would have to speak over this noise. I don't think it's the hovercraft either. Yeah, hologram. Not a hologram. I think it's a mirror. Or it could just be magic. It's magic, so... <laughs> well, I've looked at some of the science, and I must admit, I'm stumped. I don't know how they do it. Maybe it is just Disney magic. <laughs>